today we need to discuss about uh, software testing first chapter so what is the first chapter first introduction to software testing second one <coughs> software development process third project versus product fourth software testing methods fifth one environments in your roles and responsibilities of test engineer environments in a project quality management this is the first chapter in it okay now so first introduction to the software testing part so what is a software test everyone knows about the definition maximum everyone knows about the testing definition so there are n number of definitions are there for the software testing okay you can consider a meeting but as per my concern i need to tell verification and validation of a software it is called as software testing so what is the meaning of verification and what is the meaning of the validation what is the meaning of verification and validation so now verification means whether the software is correctly implemented or not for example so suppose i want to check one calculator this is calci properly working before that first i have to verify this calculator properly implemented or not means in the calculator all the 0 to 9 buttons are available not available arithmetic operations are available not available result available minimize close all the buttons are available so first i have to verify everything is available or not available after that i want to go for the whether it is a working or not working that is called as a dynamic testing so verification means whether one application correctly implemented or not is called as a verification it is also called as a static testing it is also called as a static because sir first of all if i want to check anything suppose i want to check any google or gmail anything you have to check first i have to check that yes in gmail link is available not available images available not available available sign in is available not available available google search button available so everything is available not available if i am checking that is called as a verification part it is also called as a static testing but what about validation so validation means the implemented software suppose this calculator is there is it properly working or not how to check while performing actions i have to identify whether it is properly working or not that is called as a validation validation means the implemented software meets the customer requirements or not it is also called as a dynamic testing so verification means just i have to check that whether implemented correctly or not enough validation means 
the implemented software meets the customer requirements or not suppose google yes gmail is working or not how to check that just you have to click on that link suppose google search working or not working you have to type something and uh, click on the google search button then you can get clarity sir here i have hindi link working or not working click on that so while performing operations uh, i have to check that application working or not working that type of testing is called as validation so validation is called as which type of testing then anyway. sir when we go for verification and when we go for the validation when we go for verification when we go for the validation part that is based on the situation suppose in our real world entity in day to day life activities verification means sir for example if you want to buy a new mobile sir you can to buy a one new mobile so what is the procedure we are following either it is offline or online sir if it is online no chance of validation just you can go through the features whatever the features are available okay those features are matches with your requirement then simply we can go for it. you can place order so at the time of new mobile only verification is possible suppose if you want to go to the shop yes in the shop also whenever you can go to the some big c showroom so like that you can ask about the demo piece if the demo piece is not available yes simply have to see the features if it is okay you can pay the money you can take it only verification possible at the time of new mobile sir suppose if you want to go to the old mobile or old car or old bike anything you can take second hand thing sir go to the some shop okay in the shopkeeper you can ask babu is there any second hand mobiles are there they will give some four or five mobiles one samsung one lg one oppo one mi vivo like the five six mobiles they are given sir first i have to verify the mobile is there any scratches are there damages are available or based on the color based on our requirement first we have to verify that once one mobile is excellent immediately we don't want to pay money next i have to go for validation sir what we have to validate just we can switch on the phone everyone first validation is simply first we go to one selfie first every validation they are performing one selfie we took the one selfie and we can see the image after that if any music is there we can play the music keypad everything we have to validate so in case of the old mobile both verification and validation will be there so that is the based on situation we can go for sometimes only verification sometimes both verification and validation but sir in case of the software testing what we have to go yes at the time of software testing compulsory compulsory we can go through both verification validation both are mandatory sir yes at the time of software testing first we have to verify after the validation two are mandatory compulsory first software correctly implemented or not we are checking after that is it working or not we are checking both compulsory we need to check so what is the main objective of software testing what is the use of the software testing software testing will help to deliver reliable application to the customer and also it will reduce maintenance cost for the project sir what is the main intention why we need to go for the testing main thing we can do better quality application to the customer better quality application to the customer when you will give better quality application whenever we can identify the defects 
we can resolve those defects. So, the objective of software testing is to identify defects when those are resolved the software quality improves now my first question what is a defect maximum everyone knows about this what is the defect so the main intention is only to identify the defects whenever we can resolve those defects automatically the software quality will be improved what is a defect observe here sir suppose i want to test this calculator sir if i am checking 5 into 6 okay i have some expected result i have some expected results but what is actual result we don't know exactly what happened we don't know okay sir what is the expected result 5 into 6 the expected result is 30 sir after clicking on this equals a symbol after clicking on this equal symbol what is the actual result we don't know okay for suppose if the actual result will came 11 assume that what happened here so i am performing a multiplication but developer written the code in the background plus so that is the reason i'm getting as a level so here what happened the result will be wrong mismatch is happened Listen. so the result will be mismatch so what is the defect that deviation between expected result and actual results in AUT, nothing but a defect. Who will identify it test in general? Sir, I have some expectation from the application, but reality, existence, actual result will be changes. That is called as a defect, sir. Every application expected. Sir, how we know expected results means based on BRS and FRS. In the FRS, all the functionalities are available. Based on that, I can expect something. But what actually happening in that? I am comparing both. If anything is there, that is called as a defect. So, sir, what is the defect? Defect is the deviation between expected result and the actual result is nothing but a defect. Remember carefully. Sir, that is the defect, sir. Clear? Who will identify the testing? Sir, com some companies, defects also called as a, some different names are there. Issue they can call. Some companies, incident they are calling. Some companies, call. All are same. So, defect can also called as an issue incident or call all are same only based on the company terminology will be different but defect is the deviation between expected result and actual result test engineer will identify those defects okay absolutely careful defect what is the defect it is a deviation between expected results and actual results in AUT. Sir, what is meant for AUT? Application number test. Second point. Defect can also fall as an issue or incident so that is the defect sir so sometimes uh, generally we heard about this bug what is a bug 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 like that they are calling what is a bug sir what is the normal meaning of the bug go to the 
Google check about that one. See that image. Bug is nothing but a small insect. Yes. In the hostels, sir, beds, sir, the small chota wala, black wala are available. Whenever you are sleeping, always it is disturbing, disturbing, disturbing to you. That is called ego. Sir, because of this small thing, my software always disturbing. That's why they are given a bug as a name to that one. Sir, see, something defect is there means, sir, every defect is not a bug because, sir, whenever you are identifying any defect, there are so many number of reasons are there. Maybe at the time of execution of your programs, maybe net is disconnected suddenly or your system configuration will be slow or maybe database service is not available. N number of reasons are there. So whenever you can identify defect immediately, don't think that there is a bug. So whenever you identify defect, your responsibility, you have to intimate to the developer. Defect identified, then intimate to the developer. Developer will also check that. Yes, if it is a valid, if the developer is accepted, then it is called as a bug. Otherwise, it is not a bug. If the developer is accepted defect, then all it is called as a bug. Sir. When developers are accepted defects, then those are called as a Sir, what is the failure? Failure is one more word. Failure means, sir, if defect is reaches to the end user, means who are using my product, directly my defect is reaches to the end user, then that is called as failure of the product. Because as a test engineer, I am unable to identify the defect. Client is not identified. End user. When defects are reached to end user, then those are all those failures. So that is a defect that can fail you. So remember carefully. So here are four different words are available there. That is, sir, just now we discussed. Sir. One is so what is the first word? Different. What is the second word? Different. What is the third word? Different. So what is the fourth word? Failures. Sir, who is identified that defect? Test engineer will identify the defect. Test engineer identify the defect. Sir, whenever a defect is identified, immediately will intimate to the developer. If the developer is accepted, he will call it as a bar. What is the failure? The defect is reached to the end user, then it is called as a failure. Yes, because directly my defect is reaches to the end user side. That's why I'm calling as a failure end user. Sir, what is an error? Why the defects are present in the application? Because of the coding mistakes. Human mistakes while developing application. Syntax errors and logical errors. So within the program, any mistakes, that is maybe logical errors, and uh, syntax errors. So these are called as an error. So, so most of the time they will ask what is the difference between defect, bug, error, and failure. So all four are different words, but the context is the same. Because as a test engineer, I am calling as a defect. Developers, they can call it as a bug. End user calling as a failure. 
within the program any mistake is there the programmer will call it as error so suppose if you want to tell good morning in english i will tell you good morning in tamil i can call it as a kale one hindi i can call it as a suprabhat kannada we can call it as a subodaya so good morning subodaya suprabhat kale vanakkam subodayam five different words but what is the content context all are same or not yes same here also four different words are available defect bug failure error but the main context is the same sir that is the different between defect bug error and failure so why these defects are present in application means because of the coding mistakes whenever you can resolve this automatically quality will be improved so how to tell that whether it is a good quality or not yes whenever any product is reaches to the customer requirements automatically we can tell quality so again quality also depends upon some factors sir major factor cost suppose 3 rupees pen is there 300 rupees pen is there alto car is there audi car is there sir so based on the cost quality also improves definitely if you go with the 2 and of 3 lakhs alto car If you go with the 40 lakhs Audi car, how much comfortable? How much quality is there between these two? Under the time of project, too, time is also very very important to give the better quality. Time means, sir. Suppose if you are asking manual selenium project, too, I am telling two months time, but one person is telling, sir, within the 20 days you have to complete all the three means. Okay, possible when if you are spending daily with three hours, then 20 days. then it is okay fine but he is telling no no sir only one hour daily but you have to complete within the 20 days means no chance not possible so like that sir quality will always depends upon the cost and the time and the customer requirements need that then whenever you can resolve these defects automatically quality will be improved Sir, I am giving this uh, notes in the chat panel. You can copy paste. Later on, I will share the PDF. No problem about that. Okay, I will give the PDF also. Once your registration and everything completed, then I will give the PDF also. No issues. Meanwhile, for your sake, running notes I am giving. Okay, take these notes. Chat panel. Copy. i will share pdf also no problem so next get the time of project whatever the activities we are performing some of the activities at the time of development of a project so first to first to develop any application yesterday we discussed Sir, without coding, no application, sir. So, what is the first activity, sir? Coding. To perform the coding, there is one life cycle is there. S D L C. Sir, what happened? The guys are joining very late. The session is eight o'clock only. Is there any problem at the time of joining the session? Are you facing any issues? Because eight o'clock the session started eight to nine. Some guys are coming late. Hmm. At the time of joining, any issues or you were joined as a late? Eight o'clock, sir. Session exactly started eight o'clock. Eight to nine. Okay. So now, coding part. Sir, what is the coding? Coding means already we know we can write the programs. Writing programs by using programming language. Or scripting language. In order to develop an application, who will perform in 
it is performed by the we don't bother about that so for every application sir first activity is the coding activity sir coding done for that one life cycle is there what is the life cycle sir sdlc finish second sir when our coding is completed we came into the picture testing for the testing one life cycle is there that is sdlc software testing life cycle yes for the development how the life cycle is there mari as a test engineer we have also one life cycle is there that is called as stlc so nowadays in every organization they can maintain separate test engineers sir but in olden days yesterday i am given sdlc models nine models in the old six sdlc models sir developer is the responsible to test an application hence there is no guarantee for the quality that is the reason sir nowadays every company maintaining separate testing team because of after implementation of the product this team is responsible to test it whether it is properly working or not working so nowadays in general every organization maintains separate testing team so after successfully application developer that will be delivered to separate testing team sir i will give one more definition for the testing <laughs> this is also one more definition sir for testing n number of definitions are there you don't worry about that anything you have to explain starting and given one definition <coughs> verification and validation of an application now one more definition i am giving what is the testing validating an application based on client requirements and expectations is called as a this is also correct sir who are the members in that testing there are different members are there higher official test manager next test lead next senior test engineer as a pressure test engineer or testing trainee Sir, if you are a fresher, your designation is a test engineer or a trainee. If you are the two years, three years of experience, you become a senior test engineer. Sir, five, six, seven years, sir, apply for the test lead position. Oh, ten plus above, eleven plus above, manager position you are eligible. So like that, testing will be done. So what is the main intention of testing? Already starting, I said that identify the defect. Sir, whenever I am identify defect, what is my role? i am intimating to the developer okay so what is the third activity first activity is our coding perfect done by developer testing done by test engineer he identified the defect immediately third role is defect reporting then one life cycle is there that is known as plc sir what is a defect reporting defect reporting nothing but whenever i am identifying defect i am intimating to the developer that procedure notifying about the defects to the developers is called as a defect reporting who will perform it is performed by test engineer either by manually or by using defect tracking tools anything you are wish defects can be intimated by manually or by using any defect tracking tool luxilla jira like that sir once i intimated defect to the developer yes if it is a valid programmer is accepted then it is a Sir, what is the reason for the defect? 
just now we discussed something mistakes in the programming so how to identify whatever the errors are there then developer they can use one general technique to debugging that is the fourth activity debugging will be done by the developer sir why not only developers sir tomorrow at the time of writing programs in the selenium we are also perform debugging what is the debugging sir in my entire code where the problem is there why it is not working so analyze the source code of an application in order to identify root cause for an error sir why defect present what is the reason root cause for a defect so unless source code of an application in order to identify root cause for a defect that is called as a debugging who is take care it is performed by developer we don't bother about that so once identified they can resolve that is called as a bug fixing that these five activities common for every project so what is the meaning of bug fixing modify the source code of an application in order to resolve the defects is called as a bug fixing or bug resolving so that is the five activities common for every project sir what are the five activities first one coding for that sdlc second one testing sdlc defect reporting bug life debugging and bug fixing will be done by the developers so these are all the common activities for every project sir okay this is the five activities done by the for every project sir suppose tomorrow if you want to attend any interview what is the skill set required for a functional test engineer what it required sir remember first sir manual testing is mandatory without manual testing no interview after that one of the automation tool so that is today selenium is there you can go with the selenium one defect tracking tool bugzilla zira any one of that sir if you know the some database concepts like oracle sql sir and if you know one programming language like python then it is added advantage for you that is overview but manual one automation tool these are compulsory sir database python that is your wish if you have the time you can go for that so next concept software testing so how many software testing methods are available every organization uses only two types of techniques one is manual test second one need automation test sir what is manual testing and what is the automation test already in the starting a demo session i am given manual testing manual means sir whenever without any automation tool manual if i tested that is called as a manual testing sir whenever class is going on their offline class okay it is offline class not online so offline means in the students may be 50 to 60 members are there in the class when our class is going on there in the last bench some guys are happily sleeping when our any guy is sleeping i will go there and i will do left hand right to that person then that is called as a manual i will go to that person i will give left hand right then it is called as a manual where is in automation sir i want to take one rebo into my classroom i am given instruction to my robo oi robo in the class if anyone is sleeping go and give left hand right then robo is watching if any person is sleeping in the classroom robo will go and will give left hand right 
that is called as automation previously directly i can go and give left and right that is called as manual procedure now robo will go and give left and right that is nothing but our automation process sir manual test sir what is a manual test without any automation to so it is the process of testing an application manually without using any automation to and one more point in manual testing sir main intention test engineer will write the test case yes manual testing test engineer derived and executes the test cases and it generates reports manually so again in manual testing there are two types of testing are there so there are two types of approaches one is static testing second one is dynamic testing so now let's starting explain what is static and what is dynamic sir static means without execution of application identifying defects is called as a static testing so verifying the spelling mistakes buttons all those are called as a static these things already just starting explain me static test so what is the static testing without execution of an application identify the defects is called as a static testing starting i'm given one name what is that verification what it includes it includes checking of requirement documents design documents those are called as static we can perform static testing there are some techniques are there sir peer reviews walk throughs and inspections we can perform static testing by using peer reviews walk throughs so that is a static part sir so what is a dynamic dynamic means already you know very well so at the time of execution of the program only possible to identify the mistakes that is called as a dynamic testing sir that is called as a dynamic testing so first static finish dynamic means compulsory execution is required without execution no chance of identifying the defects of that application that's what is also called as a validation part then system perform the testing with execution of an application is called as a dynamic testing that is called as a dynamic 
it includes we have to check all the features of application so what the dynamic testing techniques white box bag box gray box unit system integration uat all are there so what are the dynamic testing everything like uh, white box black box gray box unit testing integration system uat etc all are called ever dynamic testing techniques sir once it is done what is the main second testing automation testing sir first of all what is an automation automation means at the time of manual testing we are preparing test cases okay the process of converting test cases into test scripts by using some tool is known as automation not automation testing remember sir manual test cases i am converted into the test script with the help of the some tool that the procedure is called as our automation mari what is automation testing automation testing means automating human activities with the help of any program as third party tools is called as automation testing so perform testing activities by using some automation tool is known as automation testing sir whatever the tools are there oh market and number of tools qtp or uap now popular selenium please tosca renorex kumba windrun test script so n number of tools are there so in automation testing test engineer is responsible to derive the test scripts sir at the time of manual testing test cases can be performed with that in excel file whereas in case of automation the test scripts will be performed some programming languages like selenium with java selenium with python selenium with ruby like that we can develop so up to now whatever the concept i explained you can identify the difference between these three questions you can identify okay difference between manual testing and up to now whatever concept i explained please tell these three answers difference between manual testing and automation testing difference between verification and validation and the difference between testing and debugging please find out these the answers and tell the answers because up to now i am telling only in that chapter these three questions will come hmm. you can find out whatever the difference between verification validation and what is the testing and debugging and what is manual testing automation testing please find out 